What is up guys? It is a brand new day. We're starting off today a little bit later, but as you guys can tell from the title of this video, we're going to jump right into that topic. And that topic is what it is like to be working for Costco. So I worked for Costco for about eight months. Essentially when I was there, I thought it was a really great place. Depending on which Costco you go to, there's going to be a union and there's going to be a non-union store. The one I happen to work at is a union store. Big companies like that are really big and they get big by doing everything right. They actually did a lot of things wrong. Poway would put their like girls or women outside to push cart, which thankfully I think in San Marcos, but for sure in Vista, we didn't ever have to worry about that. Girls were always kind of like it was a given that they always stayed inside. However, mine was a union store. I don't know if the other stores were union or not. It depends on which one you work at, but the one I worked at in Vista. I thought it was good for what it was. It's a really great job if you're going to college and you're a college student and it'll be there for you for a couple years. The cool thing about Costco is that if you leave on good terms, you can come back at any time as long as you do it. You have this thing called an extended leave and you can literally leave for a year. And you just have to come back in, work another two weeks or something like that, and then you can go back off the schedule. They do this mainly for like military and stuff like that, but also for people that are going into maternity leave, or if you just get sick of it, or you get another job, or if things get riled up, or you want to be seasonal, that's kind of something you can do once you pass probation. So there's a 90-day probation, and then once you pass your 90-day probation, then you go in, you work there, and you're considered a real employee, quote unquote. If you stay there long enough, you actually start to get raises. Raises there, this is the, another beneficial thing, is raises aren't like, hey boss, can I have a raise? No, basically what it is, is every thousand hours you work, you get a raise. Based on different contracts, you get different things, but then once you top out it, I think 26 hours, I think it takes about six to eight years if you're, you're working full time. If you're working less hours than 40 hours, 40 hours, 40 hours, it's just a big waste of time and you don't get like as, your raises as fast. So if you work full time, you get your raises a lot faster. So that's something that's really cool. It's all about time. On to the things I don't like about Costco. I don't like that if you are three minutes late or more, doesn't matter what you are, if you're late more than three times consecutively in one month, you get a write-up. First is, uh, I think, a verbal, and then a written. You go to a written one, and then a written two, and a written two basically is you're fired. Suspended, and then you get fired. I don't like that policy whatsoever. The reason being is one time I was pulled over by a cop. Okay, I called them. I called them. I was going to be there 20 minutes early. I called them, and I say, hey, I'm stopped by a cop. I don't know how long it's going to take. And they're like, oh, no worries. I get in there and say, so you're late today. And I was like, okay, I got a flat tire another time. So my flat tire changed it out. I was five minutes late, but I called them ahead of time again, like 20, 30 minutes before my shift started to let them know, hey, I got a flat tire. I'm gonna be there a couple minutes late. Any of my previous job, no worries. Don't worry about it. You'll be a couple minutes late. This job, they take it very seriously. And I think another time I was late for that stuff that I don't like about Costco, that they're very, very particular and they're very by the rules. And if you go even four minutes one time and you had those other two times or three times, you automatically get a write-up and then a suspension and then you just keep going from there. So I did not like that. I did get a write-up from that and um, luckily it didn't turn anything to anything more, but I did not like that. That is something that I personally do not like about working at Costco. Another thing, I don't like the managers. One of them being is you go out there and all of the managers just think that they are all that. They aren't very humble. Um, again, it kind of depends on the manager. You would never really see this as a customer, but if you work there, you definitely see it because there's some managers that they don't sit well and they just kind of, they always seem mad about something or they just, it, it just doesn't make sense why they ever even became a manager. Why would you want to like providing like customer support basically? You're just a customer support person. Honestly, some people, they get a lot more stuff done and they aren't even close to being managers. Some of the supervisors or sometimes even just the regular employees are able to connect a lot better with the members and help them give a better experience at Costco. They stand in the back and they go on their phones and they stand in the back, they watch everything, yeah sure, but they text each other and they go on their phones, they talk to other managers and stuff from other warehouses and it's like, I understand if it's about something important, but like you don't need to talk about, oh my gosh, we have these upgrades or whatever, like they call them soft blocks. Soft blocks are basically when the 
employees will come up. It's usually like a weekend, like it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they do it like, they try to do it once a month, but it sometimes happens once every two or three months or something like that. But when that happens is it's all about how many upgrades you can get, upgrading people from the regular gold membership up to the executive membership for a prorated amount. So the idea is that if you make enough money, that you'll save money. For people that aren't really that big in volume, you don't make that much money back. Sure, you might get a free membership instead of paying 60 bucks, but 60 bucks isn't really that big of a deal. That's six hours at working at a minimum time job. So now, with you guys knowing the background behind that, these managers, they'll call or text other managers from other warehouses, oh, we upgraded 50 people. Oh, well, we upgraded 72 people. Oh my gosh, Carlsbad's in front of us. We have to get more people. Oh my gosh, we have to upgrade more. And they make it like a whole game. Well, it's just marketing. They're just trying to get better and they're trying to make promote Costco into being better. And so the better, the, the more executive members, the more raise they can give because then the more people are paying more money as you guys might know, Costco makes the majority of their money not from their products, but actually from their memberships. So the more people that have memberships and don't use them, the better. Right now I have an executive membership and I've probably gone five times to use it in the last like half a year, so I'm gonna downgrade. The nice thing is you can downgrade at any point in time and get all your money back. Even on the day before your renewal, you can go in and say, no, I didn't like the executive membership and they'll downgrade you right there. Boom, you have all your 60 bucks back. So it's 100% risk-free in that way. That is what I have to say about that. They make everything a competition and the the only thing the employees get for doing all this hard work for the entire day, upgrading 10, 12 people, whatever it is, upgrading these people, you know what you get? You get a good job. That's a really great job. And you get a handshake. Don't get me wrong. That's more than some places, but still a handshake for doing all that work, standing there for hours on end. I had to do stamp duty for so long. Stamp duty is basically when you tell everyone you make, you basically try and sell forever stamps and basically boost the, um, the company's sales by making everyone look better. And so by basically showing that you're selling more in a day, you are able to say that 120 stamps at, 100, at $50 a piece, that's $5,000. And if you think about it, I made about $120. So $120 versus $5,000 is a lot better cost to person ratio. So you can actually, it's more beneficial for them to be keep selling and selling and selling these stamps to you because it doesn't matter about them making a profit. They don't make a profit off of these stamps, but it shows that they're selling a lot more stuff than they actually are. And that looks really good for investors and looks really good towards corporate. Just didn't like Costco. Depending on the place you go to, there are usually a whole bunch of old farts. Luckily I lucked out and the one in Vista is in a whole bunch of old parts that are younger generation for the most part of people. There's old people, don't get me wrong, but what I also meant to bring up by this is a supervisor would say, oh, hey, Max, do you mind going outside for a couple minutes? I just need you to do a 15 minute break or a 30 minute break. And then you go out there and you're there for the entire rest of the shift. Don't get me wrong. I am fine with pulling my weight around. I wish that they would rotate you. Oh, you're out there for two hours you are out there for two hours and then they bring you out and they switch you out with someone else because there's some people that just never go outside and you're like who cares about seniority just put them outside it shouldn't matter about if oh they've worked here for a year Ooh, put them outside who cares but i guess that's the union for you i hope you guys like my review of working at costco let me know down below what you think of this i'm thinking about doing another costco insider type of review where i basically tell you of all of the, the little tricks that you can find inside of costco and just go from there. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys liked today's video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe if you like this stuff, guys. That really brings up my content and I'll be able to do more. If you guys like this daily action, if you want the video shorter or longer, please let me know down below in the comment section. I try and respond to every single one of you guys. All right, with nothing left to say, guys, I guess it's time to end it.